Alright guys, hello, I'm wet. Welcome to my moto channel. Uh, again, this is another rustic road, but I'm technically going to do all three together. I'm here in Waukesha County right now, and let's just start up the bike and get going. Because I am on rustic road 86, I think it is. So, um... 86, 115, and Rustic Row 10 are technically all connected. So like you finish one and then you go right into the other one and, and then into the other one. So I'm kind of pumped to do three in one right now. But I started at the most southern end, southern end of the Rustic Road and on 86, and there wasn't a sign. So I'm hoping there is one at the beginning of this one because I'm not sure what else to do. But I am in like, okay, so I'm in Waukesha County, but I'm riding the like Southern Kettle Moraine area, which if you are ever in Wisconsin and need places to ride, oh shit, I'm supposed to be turning here, aren't I? This is Waterville. Um, and you need a place to ride, then definitely check out like any of the Kettle Moraine area. It's flipping awesome. But if I didn't know my route right now, I would have totally passed that sign. But this Walterville, Waterville, Water, Walterville, something like that. Um, this road is the road that pretty much follows almost all of the roads together. So yeah, this is definitely what some of these rustic roads should look like. So green! Ah! And I love that there's no gravel on the cardinal. That's awesome. No gravel is good, so I can deal with paved roads for this one. So I was actually up in, this is super, super cool. I was up in uh, the north part of Milwaukee at Milwaukee Harley-Davidson. I'm still on an adrenaline rush right now, which is super cool. I got to ride the live wire. So it's my first electric bike for the first time. I will put a link to that video up here if you want to take a peek at that one because it was super, super fun to, to ride. So many trees, super cool. But yes, super, super fun to ride. I didn't want to get off of it. I didn't want to give it back. <laughs> I just wanted to run straight to my garage and park it and then ride it again. Like it was a whole completely different feeling and like even on these roads right now it would be super fun to ride on. It's so quiet that I kind of like that feeling because it just feels like you're in nature. I don't know how else to describe it but it's a blast. To ride and so i am assuming this is the kettle moraine state forest nice i'm assuming i go right left oh left beautiful absolutely beautiful ride very windy road i like this You can just smell the trees. I wish we had something like this up by me, but I'm glad I get a chance to go down there and check it out. So we are going to turn on Waterville. There it is. And that's part of the Kettle Moraine Scenic Drive. So I have done the up to speed here. I have done the northern Kettle Moraine Scenic Drive, but I've never done the southern part, so it's fun to be able to do this, but I definitely will come back and do the entire thing eventually. It's gorgeous. So gorgeous. I love it. My riding doesn't inspire you if you're in the Wisconsin area to ride some of these beautiful rustic roads. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Just kidding. 
I'm glad I'm able to share some of this with you because if you're not even remotely in this area, at least it gives a piece of a piece of the state with you. But if there is a chance where if you're ever in the area for maybe say like the Milwaukee Rally, I don't know, whatever brings you to the Milwaukee area, head out west just a smidge more to like the Waukesha County area and ride some of these rides. Absolutely recommend it. So I am going to try to put in all three of these rustic roads into one video because normally I like splice them up and just do one individual one, but this makes the most sense because they're all connected. And so I am, I lost track of what I'm at for my count, but there's 120 rustic roads in Wisconsin and it's my personal goal to ride all of them eventually. I won't get to all of them this year, I don't think so. Last year I rode at least 10, I think I was up to 12, maybe 13 of them, and received my patch from the Wisconsin DOT, so Department of Transportation, and then I am on my way, and I think after I hit these three, I might be pretty dang close to getting 25. And so once you get 25, you receive a certificate from the Department of Transportation, but I guess for my personal challenge, I want to ride all of them. It gives me an opportunity to see part of the state that I wouldn't have had a chance to or wouldn't have thought about doing before then. And so I, I don't know, I just want to do it. This is so cool. Definitely would be a whole different story if you're in like the early springtime where the trees aren't quite as luscious. I like that word <laughs> right now, but still super, super fun. I think I'm only supposed to be going 25 miles an hour. Very twisty. For as twisty roads of Wisconsin as it can be. But, twisty. Yep, definitely on, ooh, I'm getting a little wobbly here. I think it's because I've been riding this bike since 9 a.m. this morning. Took off, did a couple of rustic roads this morning, went to Harley, Milwaukee Harley Davidson, and rode the live wire, and then I'm still riding. But, the rubber on my tires is probably pretty hot. And the traction, rustic road, keep going. Okay. Um, oh shit, that was a quick stop here. Okay, I'm assuming I go straight. After this dump truck comes by. Oh no, I'm going. I kind of like this road. This is a very, very good one to ride. Probably my top 10. Even though I literally only have rode less than 20 of them. <laughs> I think I can combine all three of them together. I have a couple things to check off my list. And so one of them, of course, was the live wire and then to ride uh, at least 25 rustic roads. So I will definitely be doing that before I even hit July of this year um, and completing that. And the more I can complete, the better for me of these rustic roads because there's 120 of them to tackle. But do you guys have any Thing that keeps you motivated that keeps you wanting to ride I don't know for me it feels like a challenge it feels like a treasure hunt I some of these rustic roads are super hard to find and if you're in the Northwoods area then reception is even a hard thing to find <laughs> to find the rides but I am going to be probably right when I finish these rustic roads hit by little wispies in my hair right now or in my face I'm gonna hit my 25k mark on my odometer and I have not ridden all 25,000 miles of these roads on this bike I'm 
unfortunately, I did put on at least, what did I buy the bike at? I'm gonna have to go back and look. I at least put it on with at 4,000, for sure, within the last, is it two years that I've had this? Yep, my daughter will be two in next week. Holy crap. Um, so, yeah, just under 2K a year. I plan on going to Sturgis. I'm not sure if I'm going to ride there. Uh, it's kind of intimidating to think about. One, just because of the distance that I'd have to ride there and back. Not necessarily the whole distance, but because I have literally the next two weekends are more motorcycle events. So I don't want to like overextend myself. Trying to do too much at once. And so I think I might either drive or fly out to Sturgis and just kind of experience it. It is an anniversary year this year, so I think just in that will be fun. And so once I get to know the area and the locations and where the best to go, I plan on my husband and I, because we have been talking about this for, I don't even know, two years, three years, four years. How long have we had our bike? Our first bike we bought, God, eight years ago. So we've been talking about doing that eventually. Um, but we never really had made specific plans. And so we had originally planned to do it this year, but now, unfortunately, he has um, been put on army orders, so I am unable to ride with him. But... End. Damn it. Okay. Well, there is no rustic road sign for Rustic Road 86, which is unfortunate. But there is one for 115. So I don't know. I'm gonna try to just take the picture here for this one. Oh shit, that's wet. Not the best road. And then I'll back up and take a picture with 115 at least. Okay. It's as good as it's gonna get. Hopefully, they qualify me for that one. Cause that's kinda sucks that they don't have anything marked for that one. But, I'm gonna back up here. Back up and get 115 before this car comes flying through. Thanks. Woo, that's muddy. Okay, rest your girl 15. Okay, there we go. This is a cluster right here. out of the way. That stinks though, that there's not one for... Uh-oh. Someone lost a charger. So I'm not sure which lake this is right next to us because honestly, if you're in the Waukesha area, there's so many lakes. So many lakes. I'm fogging up here, so I'm gonna lift up my visor and ride. But still super cool. It's a gorgeous day to get out on the water, too. All right. I feel like I should start my whole moto vlog over again. Like, hello, welcome to my moto channel. <laughs> Gotta make sure I'm still recording, too. Okay. So we are on Rustic Road 115 right now. Those are some beautiful, gorgeous houses. Ooh, I like the feel of this road. Recently done. I say recent, but it's probably like many years, but compared to some of the other ones that I've ridden. 
definitely more rustic. Okay, so this one should be a short one. It's only three miles long. And then I'm not sure how long the rest of group 10 is either. I do my research, but I don't do my research because it's a lot more fun to just adventure and figure it out than to really like plan. Okay, rustic road, which way am I going? Good question. No outlet. This is a, okay, so I don't go that way, I go that way. Good call, or else I probably would have went that way. Oops, let's get in first gear here. Okay. Oh, you can smell the water. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Definitely lake country. Lake country area. If you are a boater or a boat enthusiast, kayaking, paddleboarding, I don't even know. There's a crap ton of water all in this area. Super cool. Feels awesome too. I don't know. I kind of want to take a picture, but it's so spotty. It'll be super dark. Photographer in me says, eh. It's nice to cool off in these tunnel of trees for a little bit. For sure. Alright, now which way am I going? Oh, that's the end of it. Never mind. Here we go. Ta-da! Okay, let's find the last one. Right here? Maybe? Maybe not. I don't know. Mill Road. We'll try it. I think that's what it said. I like that you guys are coming along on the adventure with me. Alright, so I guess that was the start of it. There's no sign for that one either. Come on, people! So we are officially on Rustic Road 10. I almost flipped that up. But again, no signage. That's okay. All these beautiful houses on the lake. What lake was this? Upper something. Nashtua. Nashtua? 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 Oh man, some of these lakes. Nahibin. That was Lake Nahibin. Upper in the head. I don't know. <laughs> Trying to pronounce some of these names in Wisconsin, the cities. They'll give some people a run for their money, but you got that Wisconsin accent like I do. It never goes away. We lived in Clarksville, Tennessee, just north of Nashville for about a year and I was full-blown Wisconsin accent when I first started. I kind of swayed a little bit off after I was there for a little bit, but <laughs> very thick, strong Wisconsin accent. All right, rustic road sign. We are turning onto Oakwood Drive and there's road work, great. Too fast, too fast. Yeah, I think the first part 
near that Southern Kettle Moraine Scenic Drive area. That was probably my favorite of the three thus far. That last one for 115 was kind of eh, okay. I can see why they kind of connected them all because of it. That makes it nice that you can do all of them at once. But I almost feel like you could do this as one route completely. But I am not in charge of doing that. So I'm just going to ride and count them as three. Because in my book, that's even better. Wow. The water is so green. <laughs> like greenish blue, not like green, ew green. But get on the side of the road, that matters, Whitney. I feel like this is definitely the route I'm supposed to be taking because it goes over the lake. Super, super cool. Let's see if I can stop for a second. That's awesome. Someone's kayaking. Slightly jealous of you. This lady's booking it. This is a workout in itself trying to do that hill. Well done, lady. Well done. Okay, I think this is the end of it, if I'm not mistaken. Shall find out. Please, please tell me that this is the Rustic Road sign. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna turn around and come back. So at least I can get this one. So if it's not on one end, hopefully it's on the other end of the rustic road. And if not, well, shit. I guess we'll have to make do with what I've got. Oh God, I'm on an incline. Okay, fogging up. Whew. Sweating. All right, let's capture this quick. Then we'll call it a day. All right, ready? One more for good measure. Whoop, not me. Mosquitoes or a spider, something. And one more. All right, guys. That is it for these rustic roads in the Waukesha area. Thank you so freaking much for tuning in. I appreciate it completely. It's an absolute blast to be able to do these just by myself, but when I can take you guys along with me, that's even better. Um, just cause you guys get to experience it as well. I don't know if you have any rustic roads that you ride in your area, but this is something that I love Wisconsin for. Let's see if I can turn around quick. Manhandle my bike, but I am going to sign off for the day. Thank you again for tuning in. If you want to see any more of the rustic roads that I do ride, make sure to subscribe and like this video. And yeah, we'll see you guys on the next one. Ride safe.